Hey everyone, welcome to the Receipt Podcast. This week brought to you by MeUndies, Arc Whitening System, and Stamps.com. I'm Gus. I'm Gavin. I'm Jessica. I'm Barbara. And I'm Double I Gus. I looked in the wrong camera. You looked in the wrong How many? You want to start over? Yeah. <sighs> Let's do it. Thank God which, I find the right Which camera, camera is yours? I think it's two. Yours is two. Yeah. It's where the red light goes. When you see the red light, that's probably where you should yeah, look. When, you know j- what I mean? But the jib doesn't have a light. Okay. Yeah, but it's never really. It's the jib. You could tell if it's on the jib. <clears throat> yeah, but there's no red light. <laughs> oh no! I looked at the screen to see which camera was on. So you so it, it, you have to look to tell. Yeah. Um. I I got fucking rear ended the other day. I I got. Is that what you guys are calling it? Now? Yeah. <laughs> peg. <laughs> got pegged the other week. I was uh I stopped at a fucking red light on Lamar, uh, and just all of a sudden it's just like I feel like a boom. Oh, oh so is that a, it? That was it. There's just yeah, a little. Yeah, it's like a boom. Boop. I was like. What was that? I looked at my car. I was like, did my car just fuck up? Like, thinking something was wrong with it? I was like, did I just get hit? And I turned around, and sure enough, there's some old lady just ran right into me. <sighs> so we pull over, and then I, I point at, you know, I'm looking at my car, and I see that there's damage on the bumper. And I'm like, oh, look, I mean, there's damage right here. She goes, I can't really see it. I said, it's right here. And I'm like pointing. She goes, yeah, I don't see how my car could have done that. And I'm like, do you want to line them up? <laughs> like, I can show you exactly how your car did this to me. Hit me again. It'll be a perfect yeah. piece of the puzzle. Also, it wasn't there before you hit me, and it's there after you right. hit well, me. That's what she, I think that's what she was trying to get at. Like, maybe that happened in a parking lot, and I didn't know or something. You should have just started lying about your car. And like, see that? That's a camera. It just filmed you. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. But I, doesn't it? It does have cameras, it? does have it? cameras. It, does, it did film everything i didn't have to to do that but it was just it was just so frustrating to deal with it's like now oh, great now i gotta deal with this and then of course she made some offhand comments like oh of course it would be one of elon's cars that i hit i was like i wanted to say like any car <laughs> stops at a red light it doesn't matter what the fuck kind of car it is oh god also it's my car <laughs> yeah then she was like oh i guess i was looking at my gps i guess i, sh- I should have been looking at the road huh it's like yeah you think mm, how old is this concept woman? uh late 60s Hmm. I got rear-ended, uh, rear-ended once, <laughs> uh, except mine was not as a, that w- that sounds like somewhat of a pleasurable experience. <laughs> mine was awful. Uh, the guy that ran into me was going like 50 miles an hour Jesus. and crashed into my car, and then it was totaled after that. Oh but he God. was high on drugs. Uh, the police officer said it was K2. I don't know what that means. That's, that's, um, a, that's, a, that's a hot drug in Austin right now, K2. Is it? Yeah. Yes. What is it? You know, cops have K9. Yeah, synthetic marijuana. Oh, yes. Nice, Barbara. What was it? I missed it. Canines? Canines. I cops have canines. I heard it, uh. And I chuckled inside. Thank you for that, guys. You know what's <laughs> crazy, though, chocolate. is that he didn't have a headrest. Uh, so when he ran into me, he didn't have a headrest on the back of his seat. So his neck went flying <gasps> back. And it, like, apparently was extended two inches when they brought him out on the uh, gurney. Inches. So he got taller. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you could say that, Gavin. He got taller. Yeah, so... Fucked that, him, fucked him right up. Yeah, that's probably not a good way to get. I don't think there's any good way to get taller. And that's, <laughs> and that's definitely not. Yeah, not maybe one. if you're lying down. <laughs> Barbara, oh, that was you were shot out of a cannon today, Barbara. Why don't we all just say nothing for like ten minutes? Just get it all out of your system, and then we'll. Get more. I think there's a, a perfect correlation with how tired and stressed I am with how many terrible jokes I make. Are you stressed Are they, out? I don't think they're a terrible. Little bit. Hey, why don't you just chill out? Why don't you calm down? <laughs> it's so much easier said than done, Kevin. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm referencing all episodes. Just smile. Oh, sorry. I didn't understand that. I will kill both of you. <laughs> we, re- we, we had an episode of Always Open come out today um, where one of the questions submitted was from someone who said, what is it about the two words, calm down, that makes my wife so angry? Oh, <laughs> oh God. It was a great question. Yeah. Um, so... That's the reference of Gavin telling me to calm down. It's an inside joke I wasn't a part of. I get it now. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And now exactly. me, I'm on the outside. Now you're yeah. on the At least you were in, the, you were in between. Yeah. Uh, you have uh-huh. to do the back and forth, left well, and right. I was here. wearing that sweater too. So I guess you're kind of part of it. That's awesome. <laughs> so did you get hurt when you got rear-ended? I did. Uh, I had like some cuts and bruises on my face. Oh my and God, uh, just like Yeah, it was really intense. How long ago was this? Uh, About three years ago. Mm. No, uh, I'm sorry, five years ago. A lot longer than I you thought. You weren't working here yet. I wasn't working here yet. Yeah, but they completely... And the two people in front of me <coughs> pushed everybody out into the intersection, too. Thank God they didn't have a, a green light going yeah. the other way. Jeez. Yeah, it was awful. There was one time we were... Sh- I forget if you were on set for this, Jess, but we were on set for... I think it was a short or million dollars, but this was a, like maybe three years ago. And my car was parked on the corner of the street, like at a four-way intersection, essentially. And... Um, all of a sudden one of the PAs comes in and they're like, um, 
does anyone drive this car? And I'm like, yeah, that's my car. And they're like, a car just hit you as it was parked there. And so I guess a lady was turning and like misjudged the turn and just com- took my entire front of the car off. Wow. Wow. No, that wasn't on mm. my shoe. Damn. Yeah. And so I had to deal with it. And she's like, could I just pay you instead of filing an insurance claim? And I'm like, no. Like, because I don't know if you're actually going to pay me or like what the right. mm-hmm. thing is here. Does or she have cash t- on it? No. She's oh. like, I could write you a check. And I'm like. That sounds great. And I also like <laughs> the check could bounce. Right. I don't have your information. Yeah, write a check along with all your information. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how much uh. it's going to be to repair it. Like all this shit. Yeah. But she's like, I was just parked there. Yeah. When, when, when I got hit the other day, you know, I, I, I got out and asked, well, like, can I see you know, your insurance just so I can write it down? And she goes, yeah, can I see your insurance? I said, well, it, I guess you can. <laughs> you know, that's a weird request. I gave it to her. And she like took a photo of it. It's like, I don't know why you need my insurance. You hit me. <laughs> So I was worried that she was going to exchange insert. That's what I I feel. They always say exchange information. So I was like, I guess this isn't weird, but this feels weird. Yeah. It's like you hit me, and now (laughs) you're going to get a call. (laughs) Someone's suing you. Yeah, I don't like that she was all smarmy about it. Yeah, it was was weird. What What were your words? Because you were with Esther. Yeah, I was. What were your words to her the moment the moment you realized you'd been hit? I said, because I looked at her. I was talking to her, and I said, "Did we just get hit?" And I looked, I turned around, I saw the car. I said, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, a, it's a whole fucking deal. If you, if, I mean, it's just like, it wasn't bad. Like, no one got hurt. I, I, should, I should be positive about it. But it's like, I know I'm going to have to, like, make, I'm going to have to make phone calls. It's I an hate inconvenience. talking it's on the phone. Right? I'm going to yeah. go talk to people in person. Ugh. Yeah. It's, it's everything Gus hates. Have you guys ever hit someone else with your car? No. Yes. You have. I have. By accident, obviously. I mean, yeah, <laughs> like, on purpose. <laughs> on purpose. Were you on K2? Uh, no, I wasn't, Gavin. She Jeez. was on K3. Oh, God. No, I, I like, T-boned this lady, and uh, her car flipped. <gasps> yeah. Jessica. It was bad. Uh, Did you, like, accidentally run a stop sign? Or, no, uh, I was in immediate. I was at, like, uh, I was about to cross two lanes of traffic, and there was a large truck blocking my view. And so I was, like, inching out, and I couldn't see I couldn't see her. And then all of a sudden, like, and it was dark out, yeah. headlights came, and I just, like, ran right into her. Oh, jeez. And she, we, we went to court, and uh, she, we were in the back room with, like, my lawyer and her lawyer. And I was young. I was in high school at the time. And she stuck her finger in my face and yelled at me. And she was like, you could have just waited three more seconds, three more seconds, and this all wouldn't have happened. I was going to give that car to my child when she turned 16 and all this. And, like, I just started crying. I was young. I was like, it's I'm also like, so sorry. I didn't mean to do this. It's an accident. <laughs> it's, it's an accident. accident. That's like her pointing and yelling at you doesn't change what oh, happened. Oh, yeah. She got right in my face. And my car, the car that I was driving at the time, it said Susical on the back because I was in Susical and Musical at the time. <laughs> just, just some added notes there for you. <laughs> Should have gobbed in her eye. Y- y- what does that mean? <laughs> this is spit in her face. Mm. <laughs> Why can't You're you right, just I say that? <laughs> I know. I it Why does it be all British? It's, it's quicker to say gobbed. Oh. You yeah. should have gobbed. You yeah. should have spit. I guess they're both one word. Spit, gobbed. <laughs> One syllable. Gob, that's more syllables. I'll take it back, Gavin. Gob isn't more syllables. Gob you're, you're just trying to make Gobbed. sure you remain Spit. British while you're here in America Spit. as much as possible. Oh, well, yeah, that's where I'm from. Gob. Yeah. Gob. Mm. Three. Mm. ED isn't a syllable. Gob. If it's... Duh. <laughs> I hate this. Gob. <laughs> Gob. It takes long to spell. That's true, but we're not spelling. <laughs> Man, um,. I don't know if y'all saw it. We put out the uh, 400th episode of uh, Rashid's Animated Adventures sure did. last week. <laughs> wasn't it was, animated. It was a live action version. I hated every minute of that. Did you really? It looked fun. Uh, filming it? Here's the problem. When I told that story, I talked about wearing a jacket. So I had to wear a jacket while we filmed outside in oh, Austin at awful. the end of August. Yeah, it's like yeah. 40 uh, degrees. It was, <laughs> it was so fucking hot and I had to wear a, a, that black jacket. And I don't know, you, you really can't see what's like, I'm just like drenched yeah. in sweat. It looked like you were take. cold. I was so, I was fucking melting. I was miserable. <laughs> Why Good you acting. Night? I guess because we told the story and it would have been day. Well, it's also harder to film. You didn't establish like night. yeah, so then we would have needed lights. It was a very, it was a very low budget <laughs> shoot. Yeah, you needed lights. It was and, oh uh, man, I, I I just I I kept like getting into like we would have to drive to different places to do different filming. Like I would just get in the car and sit there with the air conditioner on, just like pissed as fuck. Yeah, just trying to cool, this. trying to cool down. How long did it take to film? Just a whole day? Uh, we filmed over several days. I think it oh. was I want to say like four different days of filming. Oh really? Damn. Yeah. Um, a lot of work. Expensive episode ever? Probably not, because no. it was like we filmed it on like an iPhone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would think 
animation would be more expensive than live action. I think action. so. Have you yeah. seen the animation? <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, I know. It takes a long time. And uh, like episode 100 was super involved, wasn't it? They always do... Was that the goat one? I think so. Okay. They always do really funny stuff on the milestones. We were joking about making Chris animate an entire Archie short as kind of like a swap. So it's like, you know, yeah. they did a live action version of an animated short. We'll do an animated <laughs> version of a live action short. Wow. I'd love to see Chris talk oh, about yeah. it. Oh. <laughs> that was not good. Uh, oh my god, yeah, that black jacket. Yeah, I'm really, I'm, I'm really sweaty. <laughs> Did you actually ride the scooter over that bumpy yes, road? Yes, there I had a GoPro attached to the scooter. <laughs> wow. We, we, had, we took, this was really hard, riding the scooter and then looking around with binoculars. Yeah, Gus, that's like the most athleticism I've seen from you, I that think. Was, that was really tough. That it took, it took that. Uh, Jordan. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. He was it just really you good. and him, basically? Yeah, him and, so it was Jordan Swears uh, uh, and Jordan Battle most of the days. Um, yeah. It's really funny. It was, yeah, it was a lot of work, but good. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad it paid off. I think, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that it, t it turned out so well. It was weird shooting with the animation team because it's a very different, they're very different than like how we shoot shorts yeah. because it's like they already had an animatic done. So it's like, this is exactly the shot we need. We need this for like 35 frames. Like they knew how many frames of each shot they needed. Because nice. the audio was already in place. The audio was already done. They'd already done yeah. animatic. So it's like. So is it easier that way? Or would you say a little more challenging? In a way, it was easy. I would say it was easier. Yeah. Because, like, you knew, it, and plus the animatic was already done. You already knew. It's like, I had to go here. I had to look that way or say this. It's like, it was, everything was already done. I just had to to mime what they had already created. I mean, how prepared can we be as, lo as long as we have a shot list and... Yeah. Uh, yeah, you do, like, storyboards. In storyboards, yeah. Yeah, you're it's not like, going to... this is exactly what I want, but, of course, things just, like... Crazy things happen on the day. We're also mm -hmm. not matching it up to an existing story that's been told like they yeah. are. Yeah. Whereas, like, you know, we could edit it however we want. So it yeah. adds a little bit of Yeah, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a critique of the, of oh, the no, way no, the no, things no. are done. Sure. It's just like, it was just a totally different approach to, uh, yeah. to how it's done. Speaking mm -hmm. of Jordan, you uh, officiated Jordan and Holly's wedding this past weekend. I did on Friday. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know how many I've done now. I think I've, people kept asking. Four? No, uh, total, I think I've done like eight. Wow. Oh, eight, I guess for like eight rooster eight teeth people. Rooster people, yeah, it's been quite a few. Yeah. It looks beautiful from the pictures I saw. It was very nice. Yeah, yeah and Gus did a really good job. Aww. He cracked some good jokes. You gotta, I got to talk about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no no matter what. It was someone else's wedding? No, no, no. We're going to talk about Gus for a little while. <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah, congrats to them, Jordan and Holly. Yeah. They've been dating for like six years. Has it been that long? No. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, because it was back at the, the old Austin, uh, South Austin office that they met. And that was a couple years ago. Yeah, we moved we into this it. building in 2014. Yeah. Have we been here for five years? Somehow. Yep. Yep. That's crazy. Is this the longest office? Yeah. I think before that, the longest office might have been... Was it 636? No, that was, that was the shortest, I think. Really? The longest might have either been the apartment in Buda or the Congress office. Congress was like 07 to Until 11? 10? 10, I think. See, it's hard. We need to write this shit down. Yeah. It's hard to like try to remember it. We've also moved around a lot in the same place too. When, like here, like office to office? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. What's been your favorite? I think this one. Yeah? Why? Uh, it's just got the most space. Mm. Some of the other ones really <laughs> sucked. You know, but it's like working long hours and then not being able to get away from someone. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, looking at you guys. <laughs> there would be times where you would just come into the back room where I was because they would talk in politics out in the main room. Yeah. You're like, I gotta get away from like, this. Like, I, can't. <laughs> I just can't do this. Yeah, it's like, it, it sucks working in an office that's two rooms, essentially. Mm. That's that's not good. No escape. Yeah. Now well, you have, that... like, pretty much your own office. Yeah. You've had your own office for a while, actually. Well, I mean, technically I shared it. True. And then I'm sharing it again, but, like, there's a, a moving process going on. Yeah. Who are you sharing with? Uh, Todd. Oh. But it's like he's slowly moving his stuff in, which has been good because it's like, we've been in that building since like January and mm -hmm. I never unpacked my boxes. So, like, <laughs> so now that like yeah. Todd's coming in, I'm like slowly starting to go through boxes and, and do things. You, you, you thought you said I was behaving really suspiciously the other day. You were. It's you were just I, coming in here like offering us booze. I'm like, what? And you're like, have this wine. I'm like, what are you, why? <laughs> what are you doing in there? He's trying to prank you. I, I know. I don't trust any, whenever you come up to me, just talk to me in general. I just don't trust you. Yeah. You didn't take the wine. It was good Exactly. Wine. Well, I'll take the wine. You should steal our desk. Did. Fuck. What? Because she didn't take the wine. Oh, yeah, you're right. Don't start this. <laughs> Don't start it. Why, why did you guys feel the need 
don't. to have such crazy backlash to someone not accepting a taco. It wasn't actually about that at all. Oh, it was. It about, was uh, what's the real reason? We just wanted to do something back. Oh and yeah, yeah. Chad was the one who asked me, so Chad was the clear target. Probably the least deserving person of that prank. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> but uh, really, who the, was the most deserving? I don't know. Anyone else in there? <laughs> That's a fair assessment. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> We're all kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, the um the not taking the food stuff came up like while we were filming, but right. we'd already established his, him as our target. <laughs> should, have, should have taken that target. So you just found that excuse to to shoehorn it in? Yeah, someone did. Uh. That was a really fun video to make. It really was. That heist. Great. Yeah. We talk about it a lot, but like it'd be cool to do more stuff like that with you guys. It's a nice yeah. natural collab. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you work over here, we work over there, mm -hmm. why not? <laughs> and I didn't, like, when I ran into you, it was me and Blaine and Ellie, when we ran into you towards the back door of the bungalow, you, I you did not- You mean the bit that got cut and we've never mentioned before? What? No, you can talk about oh, it. Okay, okay, I was like, oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> um, I did not once think that you guys were trying to, like, fuck with us on the side. What did you think we were doing? I don't know, I All just right, thought you two were Jessica, doing weird explain things. explain what you saw. Uh, so me, Bl <laughs> me, Blaine, and Ellie <laughs> were walking out the back of the bungalow. Uh, we were waiting for the call from John to enter stage five to get the microwave. And I see, I think it was you, Jeff, Jack, Lindsay, who else? Trevor, Trevor, Brady. Alfredo. Yeah. All of them come like stampering towards us when you're filming and because I'm like, we oh. were gonna go in the back door yeah which is actually where we did end up going in but you couldn't see these guys from the front oh so you thought we were all gone we thought it was empty <laughs> so you guys all you didn't like, set up one person as all, a lookout no, maybe all of achievement on it comes bolting around the corner all the ones that weren't distracting john of course and then we were just like uh What's up, guys? Yeah, you guys played it off well because I didn't think twice about it, or I just have I just trust and think no, you guys are just, really sweet, but we really, you guys we are just give you guys the benefit of the doubt you, too much. Yeah, yeah. you trust them, but not me. Well, yes, yes Gus, take it exactly. Take a, look, oh, take a look at yourself, you know. Just, <laughs> think about it. I trust Gus now. now. I might I might not have trusted you like five years ago, but you're nice. You're nice now. I've always been nice. Yeah, you're that's sweet, true, Gus. You used to be very mean. N listen, not, mis not to me. But. Misunderstood. Aww. Oh, <laughs> how about we go with that? I feel like you're about to bust out with an Avril Lavigne song right now. All of a sudden, <laughs> yeah, God, what year is it? it? Does she still make music? No, she died. Remember? No, 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 she didn't. No, Avril no. Lavigne. Didn't she just like maybe have some work? No, done? she did. She she came out with a new album. She's religious now uh, really? and found God. <clears throat> yeah, she had a near Are death you experience. With me? No, I'm not fucking with you at all. She had a near death experience. I think she had Lyme disease or something. Good lord. And um, came back from it. So now I think nice. her whole album is just kind of like more you know, spiritual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm I'm I was an Avril fan back in the day. Avril Lavigne Avril keeps her head above water and her punk pop passed in her back pocket. Yeah, that's a, that's a great way to put it. Avril Lavigne on Lyme disease. Oh, here it goes. Yeah. Uh, who's, oh, okay. I guess, I guess you are totally telling the truth. You know what? I'm, she I'm, knows I'm, her. I'm a pretty good How person. How are you so up to date on your Lavigne? Cause I was, I follow her and I loved her growing up. I was a little emo shit. Did you ever up. go to her concerts? No, I didn't. <coughs> but I went to like a Lincoln Park corn story of the year. And I just heard Eric go, oh, P.O.D. Yeah. concert. Remember that song from P.O.D.? Stop! No singing. No! Please stop. Oh, you're new here. Don't <laughs> sing. <laughs> That's right, I can't sing. <laughs> so oh, you're just new saying, here. we are, we are. <laughs> you're gonna go ahead and beep it out anyway, right Eric? Just, yeah, ju just don't, uh, just don't sing. Thank you. <laughs> She's okay, it was under four seconds. They, Do it! They still... <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Thank you. They, we got the go-ahead, officially. They still cut it out, Getting mixed know, signals. Even less than four seconds. <laughs> don't do that. We, uh, we sang okay. for three seconds. I saw. That's not, it's no one, I've never ever said only sing for three seconds. I said don't sing. I know you sing. didn't. Gus, I, did. I understand <laughs> how you are the way you are now. You can't give anyone an inch around here. An inch. An it, inch it, is, it, is, Iron fist. Three seconds? How, how many seconds that, can I do? Two two? Point, it's 2.5 centimeters, Kevin. <laughs> 2.4. No, you can't give anyone 2.5 centimeters around here. Oh, all right. You'll use inches though, right? I mean, it depends on the thing. <laughs> it depends on the <laughs> You really can't bitch at us about our, our measurement system if you all can't figure. No, I know. Get your shit together. No, it's true. <laughs>
This episode of the Rooster Podcast is brought to you by MeUndies. What's that I smell? Ah, uh, yes, it's pumpkin spice. The leaves are crunchy, the breeze is crisp. It's officially onesie season and officially fall. Fall means back to school, back from vacay, and it's also a time to get soft, time to get cozy, and time to cuddle up. MeUndies knows a thing or two about that. I really like how comfortable MeUndies are. I know we talk a lot about how soft the fabric is, and it really is, and they stay in place. I've been wearing them for a long time. I uh, can't imagine wearing any other underwear. They're absolutely amazing. Uh, Meandy's just introduced five new silhouettes with the Feel Free Collection for Women, designed with every body type in mind and a feather light waistband for you to feel free. New prints drop every Tuesday, so you'll never run out of ways to express yourself. Plus, members get an exclusive print at the beginning of each month. Meandy's has a great offer for our listeners and viewers, and for any first time purchasers, when you purchase any Meandy's product, you get 15% off and free shipping. To get 15% off your first pair, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to meandies.com slash roosterteeth. That's meandies.com slash roosterteeth. I read, um, I heard this fucked up story the other day uh, in the Austin subreddit. Um, oh, good. There was this guy who got scammed, and he was telling this story about how he got scammed so that other people don't <clears throat> get scammed. So I'm telling you guys, and I'm telling all the viewers as well, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess this person said that they got a call on Sunday, from their caller ID said it was Austin Energy calling them. And they said that the person on the other end of the line told them that the electric bill for their business was past due and they needed to pay it. Otherwise, they were going to disconnect their electricity that day. Oh, shit. So the guy's like, okay, you know, I'm going to go. I'll, I'll, I'll pay it. You know, they're like, your past due amount's $1,820. Jesus. And so that he's like, okay, yeah, 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 I'll, I'll pay it. They, then, so then they walked him through getting the cash and then depositing it in a Bitcoin ATM. Uh, and then he's like, yeah, and I did it. And then they told me that everything was okay. And then I found out that my electricity bill was not past due. So all that money's gone. He didn't just go online and check. And he did. He was on the phone. He was like, oh, okay. We'll just take care of it. How old is this guy? He didn't say. Uh, he, like he, someone just told the story. That online. alone is just enough of a red flag to uh, me. That, that's what you all know? the comments were. Like, the people what? were kind of mean about it. They were like, you deserve to lose that money. I was like, well, I, would I mean, say that he I deserved, say that, but like the but... second they bring up Bitcoin. You know you're in trouble. If they don't also know all of your information, that would be... Well, also, also, it's like, yeah, that, 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 I, mean, I think the, the payment thing is the weirdest thing, right? It's like, you don't want me to go to, like, the or H-E-B like, where they accept yeah, it's yeah. Like, well, there's utility payments? Or pay online like most companies have nowadays. Right. A lot of the tech support scammers from India and Bangladesh, they, all, they want Google Play cards and Apple cards and mm-hmm. they want to be paid with gift cards. Right. Why? Which makes it really bizarre. So they like get old people to walk to the store and buy like four hundred dollar Target gift card and then give them the code. To Have it. you ever seen that guy on Twitch who streams <laughs> that he, himself fucking with those scammers? Yeah, he wastes like that is my three dream, hours of their time. Honestly, please let me know. What, I need to watch that. I had the fake it's, IRS call me uh, mm. last year. How much did and you give him? No, I, I I have to admit I was on the phone with them for probably about. 20 minutes and in the beginning I did fall for it. I was very concerned. I was very nervous He was like the the cops are gonna be at your house blah 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 and I'm like, oh Jesus Christ I was just like my mind got hijacked, you know, yeah. and uh, I think that's what they count on. Yes, exactly And so he kept saying he's like go to the stay on the phone with me go to your bank and pull out you know twelve thousand dollars and all this stuff and I'm like this just doesn't make sense to me uh, Obviously, <clears throat> and so after a while I kept asking questions because I just clearly didn't understand and he started getting mad and yelling at me and raising his voice and then finally Jesus I realized uh, I was like oh, I'm getting scammed then a couple months later got a call from one of these guys again and I picked it up because I knew I was gonna I was gonna fuck with them and he's telling me all this stuff, and I'm like, I I know you're not real, and I know you're fucking with me right now. And he just says, okay. And I'm like, do you get away with this? And he's like, sometimes. And he's answering these questions <laughs> and stuff. And I'm like, how, I was like, and he's like, you should you should ask me how much I made today. And I was like, I'd rather not. Bye. And then I clicked oh off. Oh, my God. But, um, what a piece of shit. They're awful. I mean, a lot of them, I assume, are just people in poor places trying to make a living, and they're just doing what people tell them to do. But, yeah, it's... Shit. It's the, a the shitty things system. they will say, like preying on people's kindness, so so awful. What was the guy you watched? Kit Boga. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'm actually, I actually looked up a video. I'm going to yeah, send it to you right I now. Would love to watch that. How did you find him? Because he was just, I think he's just like algorithm friendly right now. Uh, I but think I, I've seen I, like on Reddit or something. I've seen some of his okay. videos. Yeah, I've been watching a ton of his videos. He does this old woman. Yes, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the one. That's one of the ones I sent her. How often does he get scammed oh, or, he, or scam calls rather? Oh uh, well, he like cre- he like baits them. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, sometimes we'll put two scammers on the phone with each other. 
uh, there was one time where because they do this like weird refund thing where they say they're going to give you a refund of like 400. Yeah. Then they'll edit the bank page because they're controlling the computer and they'll they'll be like, "Oh, I accidentally added a zero. I gave you 4,000. You need to go and Send me give three, me 3600 $3, dollars." Right. So he did this thing instead of like playing along with like, "Oh, I better you know go and get a gift card." <laughs> he just goes on Amazon and like p pretend buys a mobility scooter because he's pretending to be an old woman. He's like, "I'm gonna be speeding around." On this <laughs> thing, and the scammer's like, "No, no, no, no! Don't spend the money! Don't spend the money!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's got really inventive ways of screwing with those. There's someone I forget who it was, but it was someone I knew growing growing up, whose father, whenever they would get a scam call. Would pretend to be like what? really into it. How did you do that? You're just sitting there. I I was sitting listening. Who <laughs> uh, would pretend to be like really interested and really down to do whatever this person was asking, and they'd be like, "Okay, hold on, like I'm just gonna go uh, grab my credit card, but it's like it's downstairs, so it'll take me a second. And like mm -hmm. they would put the phone down and then leave the phone down for hours, and then come back to it, and sometimes the person would still be on the line waiting, Jeez. and then they'd be like, "Oh, actually, uh, never mind," and then just hang up. It's like the episode of The Simpsons where Bart. Prank calls Australia. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> and it just like leaves the phone down. Yeah, the and the it's kid like, <laughs> like goes to check on the neighbor and like leaves the phone off the hook. Yeah. It used to be so expensive to call internationally. I always forget that. Yeah. Well, well, even long distance, like, a... like calling outside of the city you lived in. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, yeah. You used to have to call like long distance and mm -hmm. it was like it cost more. Yeah, you do it was have like a big long country. distance to call Montreal from Ottawa growing up. It was weird to call like my grandparents. Do you remember when we had to start actually putting in the area code? Because before, yeah, you didn't you didn't have to do that. Now, nineties mm -hmm. kids remember. I, yeah. Well, I think it just happened with Austin fairly recently because they, they they just added the second one like two years ago. No, I'm talking about like way back in the day. Way back in the day, <laughs> where you where you just you just dialed like you didn't have to dial the yeah, area but what code. If multiple people had the same. Go on. With multiple seven people? digits. They didn't. They didn't. Not with the same area <laughs> code. Yeah. Not with the so same. That, yeah. So you're saying that, that you were alive at a time where there were less than seven million. I was alive in a time when the same area code that's in Austin went all the way to the border. And I used to live, when I lived on the border, we were 512. <laughs> and everyone in that area lived so within those seven di within those seven digits. 8675309 was just one person's phone number? That's how it works. Yep. Sucks to be them. <laughs> You think anybody actually requests that number? <laughs> it's like, I want my phone to, be, to ring with random calls all the time. <laughs> Someone must have 512-8675309. Um, we're oh not no. calling them. <laughs> <laughs> we're not finding out. I hope nobody has that phone number. I hope it's I been bet, like blacklisted. I bet they love talking to people. I wonder if anybody, I mean, obviously they do. There's a phone number for that translates to big dick. And if like a fucking, like one of those, um, Hotlines for sexual speaking. What's that called? Like phone a sex? Sex lines. Sex One of those lines for sexual speaking. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> sexual speaking. If it was advertised like that, nobody would call. <laughs> would you like some sexual speaking? <laughs> oh, we've got operators standing by. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> the sexiest speech possible. <laughs> they know all the words. Yeah. <laughs> like it's big like dick. 1 800 big dick. <laughs> You just it's like big dick on repeat. Big dick, big, big dick. dick, big dick, big sexual I'm speaking. Hard. Sexual speaking. Oh god. Uh, wait, okay, now what? <laughs> like if if they would reserve those numbers for those hotlines. Like big oh. dick or hot puss or like boobs. <laughs> hot puss. Jeez. <laughs> that doesn't work written down. That's just hot puss. <laughs> no, it's explain it. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> All right, PSSY. <laughs> You're really good at this, Barbara. <laughs> I want to change my phone number. I want you to come over with my new Hot phone pussy. number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Do you ever look to see if your phone number spells anything? I've never no, done that. No, I haven't looked. There's websites where you can go and you can put in your number and oh, it'll no. show you like all the different things. Mine actually spells something that I that I really like. Which well, you can never I say. I can't say it. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> it. Is it sexual speaking? <laughs> it's big dick. <laughs> <laughs> Call me at 512 <laughs> big dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I'll, 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 <laughs> what? No. I'll tell you after the podcast. I really, I really okay. like One mine. thing I don't understand about here is that the area code affects mobile numbers. What do you mean? Go on. Like a mobile number in England starts with like 07. Mm. But my area code is 
five digits. Right. Yeah. So <clears throat> how, how do you get a mobile number that there's that many numbers? Well, there's that few numbers. There's that many. Because if because the number includes the area code, if you think about it, so it's ten digits. So ten digits. That's a lot of numbers. That's a lot of yeah. numbers. So for instance, okay, I think I know what you're trying to say. So I in Houston was seven one three for the longest time, and then obviously they needed to branch out more, and now they have eight three two. So eight three two seven one three two eight one are all Houston area codes and stuff that we had to add that are just you know what I'm trying to say. Is this what you're trying to say? I, I understand geez. area code, yeah, but in England it's just landlines that have them. Not so if, if someone oh. rings you from a mobile number, you don't know where they are. Oh, that's kind of. Or it's, it's the same thing here. Like you can have a mobile number in Austin. Well, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. with any area code, but it just never comes one. There's like oh seven, and I think there's another one, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you all, whoever makes those decisions in the UK, just decided when mobile phones <laughs> came out, like, oh, we're going to give them a different code. That way, we could save all the other codes for. Landlines. That was something I didn't realize mm -hmm. until I moved here. When someone calls you, it just it can just say like from Austin. I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's mm -hmm. clever. Because when you get called by a number you don't know in England, it just says the number from England. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> say that <laughs> from the EU? Question mark. <laughs> from you? Guys, you? That'll start being more expensive. From <laughs> yeah, you guys are fucked. <laughs> when are you going back to England? Do you want me to leave? No, but like a trip. Have you ever been to England, Jess? I have. Last year, uh, I, you I went on a little adventure, didn't you? Freaking achievement, <gasps> achievement hunter, oh, and yeah. he forgot that I was there with him. It was really upset me. To be fair, no. Um, <laughs> you know that we work with a lot of people. You forgot she was there. What happened? Yeah, he did. He, did you leave her somewhere? This was the time. Did, you forget did I tell you? Jess? Did I tell you? He, you when we were there, you told me that I have a very weird hairline. I think it's cool. Look at her hairline. <laughs> what did I say? Weird? <laughs> yeah, you did. We were sitting on the picnic tables. Out of the ordinary at all. No, I know. Now getting to know Gavin, I realize this is all just normal. Um, but yeah, we were sitting outside in front of the help. <laughs> <laughs> See, I mean, like, look, there's my eyebrow, and then that's where my hairline starts. You're Italian. I, like, that's I am Italian. So there's just like that's, that's a thing. You're lucky. Um, Some people have like too high of a hairline. I know. I, feel like I am that's thankful. Probably more of an issue. Yeah. And then there's people that just like call it out as if it's like a <laughs> thing, you know? Like at least like, you what don't is have it? the thing that I have where because I'm blonde. If I pull my hair back too much, it looks like I'm going bald, mm. like up here. I don't really. I mean, I still yeah, see it's like hair more there. Fair it's more fair. And it's baby hairs. Yeah. It could you could be like me, and I am. That's where I'm missing most of my hair. So oh, was thank that you. soundboard Eric or real Eric? I was sound. That was soundboard ba baby. Yeah, baby. baby. <laughs> yeah. Best is when they overlap. Were you offended other. when I said that? Um, I wasn't offended. I was just like, this is our friendship, and I need to accept it. I feel like I'd known you for a long time at that point. It wasn't just like out of the blue. No, it was just one of those things. Where I'm just like, thank you. Like, how do I respond to that? Like, thanks. Is it Gavin? one of those things where Gavin says something and then you your reaction, but just your facial expression dictates how Gavin will react yeah. to what he just said to <laughs> yeah, you? Like, I oh. assume I felt bad because I didn't mean it to be an insult. No, I I mean, it's fine. Just like <laughs> something that, I will always that, remember for the rest of my life. It's that face. That's the face you do it. when you say something shit. So. Hey, Jessica, I'm sorry. It's all good. Anyway, so he forgot I was there on that <laughs> shoot. And um, when I, you know, I, I helped produce... That whole entire shoot. Yeah, we're talking so. recently. I was like, hey, have you ever been to England? And you're like, well, we were there at the same time working on the same show yeah. together. But it's, there it's, was like 30 crew there. Also, to be fair, like when you shoot a bunch of the same show or shoot with the same people very often, you kind of forget like necessarily what cities you've so been to. So what you're saying is you're on his side. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't laugh. Don't laugh, Jessica. Don't let her off the hook. I, let me ask you this, Jessica. You've done a lot of shorts. Mm -hmm. Um, do you remember every crew member of every single one? No, I don't. But you're friends. I ha you have a point. Like, if you were on our short shoots, I'm sure Jessica would remember which ones you were on. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's true. <sighs> it's all good. <laughs> it's no, okay. no hard feelings. No hard feelings. Well, to, now, when you said, hey, idiot, I was there with you, I was like, oh, yeah. And then I remembered. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. But definitely. you guys didn't like go off and like hang out together or like. No, well, no. I was down a cave, and you were at the 
the mouth of it. Yeah, he was I down spent in most the of the day with the ghost. cold cave yeah, with a true. bat. <laughs> uh, yeah, and a and I saw you at the and... beginning and the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's true. Fair. That's a fair. And you were probably tired because this was after RTX. And it was in the middle yeah. of the night. In the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I get it's it. awful. And Gavin goes a lot of places with a lot of people, so I get it. That was great, that one. I, I stayed at my parents' house. That was like 10 minutes from where I grew up. Are you serious? Yeah. Holy shit. Is your parents' house haunted? No. Mm -mm. Not that you know. And Labyrinth was shot. And the beginning of the Labyrinth was yep. there. Very nice. Okay, We're learning all kinds of <coughs> Gavin trivia. <laughs> this episode of the Receive Podcast is brought to you by ARC. Whether it's a job interview or your dating profile, your smile can help you make the best first impression. But if your smile isn't as vibrant as you'd like it to be, ARC can help you feel more confident. ARC is a new way to achieve professional level teeth whitening at home for just 30 minutes a day. Each ARC treatment includes a dentist approved enamel safe whitening strip that adhere to your upper and lower teeth along with ARC blue light technology. The blue light mouthpiece arcs around your entire smile, delivering targeted blue light energy to help weaken set in stains below the enamel surface, making your treatment more effective than strips alone. I like to see people smile. It's an easy way to brighten up someone's day. I love that art can help uh, it be even brighter. Art can help you reveal a smile that's 50 times wider than leading whitening toothpaste, and it's satisfaction guaranteed. And to help our listeners get a wider, brighter smile, Arc is offering $15 off your purchase of a blue light kit when you visit arcsmile.com and use promo code ROOSTER at checkout. Go to arcsmile.com, use promo code ROOSTER for $15 off your blue light whitening kit. That's arcsmile.com, promo code ROOSTER. You want to take the next topic? No. Take it. Take the next topic. <laughs> take it far from there, this. Uh... There was a. Th th there's this recurring. I want to. You know, I don't know if it's if it qualifies as a fear. There's something that I think about a lot. Uh, have you ever like ever heard? And we've talked <clears> about <throat> this on the podcast every now and then about how um, it's possible to get an amoeba that eats your brain. Yeah. Have you ever Blaine heard of this? was convinced he had one for a while. Like Who three, was three Blaine. of those? Oh, really? Blaine thought he got one because he jumped into a lake or something or or swam in a lake recently. And he heard about the brain-eating amoebas, and he was convinced that he had one. Someone, yeah, someone just died uh, the other day. Oh my god! Um, some some like ten-year-old girl went swimming in a river in Central Texas, and then got over Labor Day, and then got uh, one of those amoebas swam up her nose. Is there any way to like stop it, or like once you show signs, you're doomed? I don't know. I think, yeah, like I what think... are symptoms of that? Like, uh, why did Blaine think that just because he swam in a lake? Or just because he showing he's, symptoms? Because he swam in a lake. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And the, apparently he read that like some of the first signs are that your personality changes drastically, which you might not necessarily so... be like, I guess something's in my brain, even though that I would love sense. to know what the symptoms are of that. <clears throat> I'm trying to look it yeah. up here. Um, like how soon they hit. Mm -hmm. So uh, the thing that annoyed me is I read this article on uh, a local news website. And they misspelled amoeba every time. Oh, jeez. Every time they <clears throat> typed amoeba, it was misspelled. I don't think I could spell it. M A M. It's like O E. I think it's A M O E or E O B A. O E. O E. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I mean, I know there's, there's a lot of information, <laughs> but nothing that's the symptoms. Uh, the shadow of the brain. I mean, if it like went up her nose, yeah, I mean, it's probably like all up in her brain right now. <sighs> or then. Yeah. Hmm. It gets there fast, apparently. Yeah. I think it's like two weeks or something. Yeah. I mean, well, this would happened over Labor Day weekend. That would have been like two weeks ago. Yeah. God, that's devastating. Yeah. It's terrible. Uh, Is it because of the, like, what's causing these things to flourish? Is it just the, like, the higher water well, temperatures? It's in stagnant uh, water, too. Just water that's just yeah, sitting the there. Yeah, dirty water. Uh, yeah. They say typically Texas uh, averages about one death per year. So hmm. it's, it, it doesn't seem like there's any... So it's not new. More, right. <clears throat> I guess, like, it's... It, the, the amoeba itself is common, but the infection is actually doing something is super rare. Gotcha. Uh, I can't... I, I'm sorry. I can't really find no, the, it's okay. the symptoms here. It's okay. We'll, it, we'll just never hear about symptoms and then we'll get it and... You know, It'll be my fault. We'll blame you. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So it was in the Brazos River, in case you're curious. Don't go to the Brazos River. All right. PSA for anyone watching. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I, I, the other thing, a few years ago, I remember the reason we had brought it up then was there was a rash of it happening from people using neti pots. You know, like the thing where you're like, I guess like if you don't boil the water and you just use tap water, it's possible you get it There's that way too. There's also some like solution you're supposed to put in it, I believe. Or like a saline solution. Yeah, yeah. Or um, uh, distilled water or something. Yeah. Something like that. I've never used one of those. I haven't <clears throat> either. It seems gross. I yeah, used it once. Just... What's it do? It's supposed <clears throat> to like, just, like clear your it. sinuses out. Do you need that to be done? I guess if it's blocked. 
I think it especially when you're sick, the it gets pressure a bunch of stuff in a way. I, I'd have to look it up again. I used it just because Do, someone gifted it to me and I wanted to try it. Doesn't it just like go in one nostril and run out the other? It's very weird looking because it, it looks like a little teapot that you just like put in one nostril and you tilt your head just a little bit and it'll just like God, drain out it, your yeah. other nose. It's a video of Jessica doing it. It's one of the funniest videos he's ever Jessica, Jessica? Vasami or Negri? What? Jess kid. Oh. Jess kid. Oh. <laughs> We all heard Jessica. I was like, what? now he's making up stories about me. Like, <laughs> the fuck? Jessica's a dirty neti pot user. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, knew it. You said you hadn't, but I knew you did. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've never used one before. I feel like I'd like gag all over the place. You Ooh. really don't, you don't honestly don't feel it. <clears throat> like, it's it not just, warm. I mean, you, if you, you're supposed to use, I think, like room temperature water. Hmm. Um, but yeah, you, you basically just like feel it coming out, mm -hmm. but you don't really feel it going in. Mm -hmm. Did it help though? I don't remember. I think I didn't really have any symptoms that it would have helped. I just wanted to try it. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird how it's all connected up there, right? You can pour something in one nostril and it comes it out the other. Me out. <laughs> I know. It's weird the way that people can hammer nails into their nose. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. I hate that so much. It's just like a a gap like in the sinuses where it's just like a it's like an empty spot. Right. So like illusionists would used to like take nails and people would think it was a trick, but they're actually just hammering a nail like into the front of their face. Because there's a, there's a gap. Like, like if you look at a skull, I mean, there's no <clears throat> nose on the skull. It's just a hole. That's true. And then just like you just got to find a, a cavity that goes all the way back. I could probably do two nails. I bet you could do more than two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt there. You could hammer a hammer into that nose. <laughs> <laughs> dum, dum, dum. I'm sorry. <laughs> am, I, am I six now? What? Am I the different camera now? Are you, no, that's two. Oh, yeah. Two's a, two's a two shot. We're mixing it up for you. Whoa. Shit, man. That's why, that's why you were confused. Yeah, yeah, that's why. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out. Um, there was a, there was a, a, a I, I read the Austin subreddit. I don't know if anybody else reads the Austin subreddit. I read the Austin subreddit obsessively. I read it all the time. There was a, another weird story that was aired <coughs> last week where I guess someone, someone saw this happen and they contacted the local news that they saw a San Marcos police car in Austin, uh, in South Austin. And that the San Marcos police car pulled over and then uh, let some homeless guy out and then left and drove back down south. No, they just dumped him in a different jurisdiction. Yeah. Right, they just like brought him up to Austin and left him here. We don't need this guy in our city anymore. <laughs> oh my and god. Then, like, and then they had like, bless you, they had confusing, the, the police department had con confusing, contradicting statements about it. At first they were like, oh yeah, he was from Austin, uh, his friends left him in San Antonio and uh, he's trying to walk back so we gave him a ride. It's like, mm. what? And then they were like, oh no, uh, he was just uh, homeless and we don't have the services to take care of him in San Marcos, so we took him to Austin. It's like, but they just left him on the side of the road? Yeah, like, don't yeah. take him to the homeless shelter yeah. or the yeah. police station. It was like such a weird story. I, 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 I don't know if there's <clears> been any follow up since then. Is there more than one homeless shelter in Austin? Uh, they're, the, the big one is the Arch downtown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but they're, I think they're building a second one. Down in South Austin, oh, off of good. like uh, Ben White somewhere. Because that one always seems like there's a lot of people not getting help there. Yeah. Yeah, a I think there's more people, people than they can accommodate there. Yeah. And uh, so I'm, I was, I would hope that they would be opening up a second one. Well, there's also private organizations that do stuff. True. Mm. To, to help as well. Austin is cr growing like crazy. I know. I and saw some traffic. stat like two years ago or a year ago that said like 187 people move here every day. What? It's probably more now. I'm the problem. Yeah, get out of like, here, you, you and Gavin. Get out of here. Yeah. When you? Uh, I think in the time that I've lived here, I moved. I moved <coughs> back here in uh, 1998. In the time that I've lived here, the population has more than doubled. Oh. I think about that every time I'm stuck on fucking 35. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> exactly. Has the, the level of awesome also doubled? No, <laughs> it has yeah, not it's, scaled it's nearly. It's decreasing. Yeah. There's they're knocking down all of the awesome spots in Austin now to build. High rises. A lot of high rises at hotels and yeah. stuff. A lot of new hotels yeah. downtown. What's your favorite place in Austin? Jessica. Uh, good question. Man, I need to, I mean, honestly, I need to explore Austin more. I'm I'm very much a homebody. Me too. And so when people, like my sister will come into town and she likes to like, go out and get drinks and go to brunch. And she's like, where should we go? I'm like, <laughs> uh, Kirby Lane? I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah. um, I don't know. I, I need to do like, more of that. We have a Denny's. We, yeah, we have a Denny's. Uh, there's an IHOP. Um, so I saw there's, a, there's, a, there's an IHOP not too far from here, and it's, it's on the weekend. It's Wait, always, which one? It, the one like right over here uh, at 290 and or 
What is oh. that? Yeah, 290 and 35. Okay, yes. Uh, yeah. There's On the weekends, there's always a line outside of it. Yeah, and, and Denny's. What are you trying to say and about IHOP? I'm not saying anything about IHOP. It's like there's a bunch of other options that are IHOP caliber well, yeah. just right around yeah. there. Greasy pancakes. Yeah. There's a bunch of other places. Yeah. I can't imagine going to IHOP and be like, yeah, I'll wait Denny's outside. And, yeah, no, Denny's and IHOP, they're always, always such a line. Yeah. yeah. This podcast brought to you by IHOP. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite place is probably uh, Chili's at 45th and Lamar. Get it's out of here. One. It's a good one. What about your favorite place, Gap? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I mean, I believe you. You don't know? I believe it's you. It's not that. It's not that. I know. There's... <laughs> I try to think of like the, when I have visitors in town, it's like this is a place we have to go. Yeah, but that's what I think. There's always so many different options. Let's go to yeah. the Alamo. I think V three one three is definitely my favorite pizza. Yeah, I always Ooh. take people to Alamo. Pizza. Alamo too. If uh, you know, if I like them, I'll take them to Uchiko. Mm. Not Uchi. <laughs> What's the difference? It's very, it's very similar. Yeah, it's essentially the same. Just Uchi is far south. A little further south. Yeah. Well, speaking of pizza, where in Austin is your favorite? <coughs> Via three one three. Really, mine's home slice. It is home this, slice. This is a home slice set. <sighs> but Via three one three is so good. How is it better? I I like that it's a little thicker and and the outside is crispy with a little ch like burnt cheese on the side. Plus they put the sauce on top. Sauce on top. I like the the See, Cadillac like pizza that. is my favorite Cadillac pizza there, mm. and it has like prosciutto. And uh, gorgonzola and fig. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You That's heard it. Really Barbara good. demands via three one three guys. I'll try it out. I don't <laughs> think anybody here would complain. <clears throat> no, it'd be fine. We're trying to figure out another place. We can do via three one three. Please. Most okay, food we'll the here is pretty good, but the Indian food is anus. You really think so? Not great Indian Have you been food. Have you clay Yes or no? I liked clay <laughs> Yeah. It's, yeah. It's <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just. Uh, it's not great. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very confusing uh, gesture. Yeah. So I'm very hard to communicate with today, apparently. So you so you have been there, but you don't like it. It was yeah. So you like good. to shoom? Do you like to shoom? Or you don't even like to shoom? Is that a place? It's in England. It sounds like you're making a noise. Oh, the place that no, I've never been there. You haven't in Dishoom? England, really? Oh. Dishoom? Dishoom. Dishoom. It's a it's a I guess. I don't know if you would call it a chain restaurant, but it's one of the most popular. They have multiple locations all around London, England, and we went there for Achievement Hunter last year, like many times. It was delicious. It was really good Indian food. Why didn't I go? Is it D-I-S-H-O-O-M? Yes, I think so. Did you not invite me to Indian food? No, I was uh, with the Well, she didn't crew. remember you were there, so. Yeah, I didn't, yeah <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Damn, I wish I thought of that. Thank you, Barb. I got you, girl. I was setting you up. Back up. I was setting you up. <laughs> yeah, we got a bunch of locations. Yeah. Well, next time you go to England, you know, hit that place up. Let me know your sure. thoughts. Sure. I mean, there's plenty of yeah. All right. You don't you don't have any recommendations for Austin? We have <laughs> recommendations for the country he's yeah. from. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, I like Clay Pit here. But if you don't, I mean, then maybe I'm I'm the one that's wrong. What do I, you I get? I feel like anywhere you go in in England, though, like the Indian food's way better, especially in yeah. London. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. You, there, yeah. There's huge <clears throat> Indian influence. So the the food is like just like the shit I had in India. It's Do you great. get the same thing at every Indian restaurant you go to here? And like it's always been shit. And like no, I get different stuff. What's your go-to thing though? Chicken korma. Mm. No, I'm mean, okay. Chicken that's tikka like masala. Part. That's mine. God, yeah, I love it. Go to. I just, I just, I know it's so basic, but Cheeky like vindaloo. I eat it I like vindaloo. Vindaloo. Vindaloo is my. That's good my too. Go -to. Yeah, yeah. That's a bunch of good stuff. I love, love some good sock paneer. Chicken tikka masala until I realized it's like. All heavy cream. Yeah, yeah. I was like kidding that. about the korma, by the way. Please don't take that seriously. <laughs> See, you're hard to communicate with tonight. Just, you're yeah. just lying bit, bit and basic. making <laughs> confusing <laughs> gestures. We were, we even like that one time we were at that convention where we had no merch uh, in London. Like even we just went to like that Indian place that was like just outside the convention center, and even that was great. That was better than anything yeah. here. And the entertainment was was great. The entertainment as well. was awesome. The fucking little pile of rice everywhere. <laughs> There's a place I want to go to in London that a couple people from work went to when we were in London last time called, I think it's called the Mad Hatter's Tea Party, which is like a, a tea service place and you get like tea sandwiches and stuff, but it's like in the theme of Alice in Wonderland. That sounds amazing. <clears throat> and I was just like, I need to go here. Um, it looked yes. like a dream. God, I wish you would have known that. I know, me too. Damn. You I did that thing, fact. Jessica, that I thought was admirable. And you just sort of pissed off into the countryside. <laughs> like you went to England and did a bunch of non-tourist stuff. 
Yes, I did. Yeah, after after uh, we shot for a week um, in England doing Haunter, I stayed an extra week and I went to the Cotswolds and I got myself a little cottage and uh, made tea every day, took a bath and watched Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's, isn't that so cool though? Like most people... <laughs> it's the holiday! It was, it was amazing. <laughs> Uh, and then after, I think I did that for like three days and then I, and this was all by myself. I went by myself. Um, and then I went to York, um, and Old York, Old York. Yes. Old York. York. (laughs) Yes. And, uh, hung out up there for a little bit too. Uh, it was amazing. That sounds like so much fun. Yeah. It was my first time truly traveling alone and learned a lot. Uh, don't like, well, the reason I had a huge suitcase with me merely because I was, I was there for like two weeks but I didn't think about it and it was also cold so I had a bunch of jackets and stuff too but I didn't think about it in the sense of like I'm gonna be on trains and buses and airplanes and cabs and yeah it was awful that was the worst part of it actually uh but the rest of it was really amazing would it have been better to have two smaller suitcases no just one just one one two still would have been annoying you know why That's a good I, question. I can't remember question. that break it up. Yeah. British guy who was in the holiday. Why can't I remember his Jude name? Jude Law. Jude Law. Yeah. You know. Did the he holiday? come knocking at your door? Without no. a second of hesitation. The holiday is. Jude Law. <laughs> because I it was love Jude Law. it. It's so great. A very such fun a movie. <laughs> it is such a, it's so great. It makes you feel good. Yeah. I don't remember this movie. I have, I mean, maybe Kate you haven't it. seen it. There's no way you've seen that movie. Jack Two Black. women troubled with guy problems swap <laughs> homes in each other's countries where they each meet a local guy and fall in love. Yes. It sounds like my kind of movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's got Cameron Diaz, Kate Winslet, Jude Law, Jack Black. It came out at the same, almost the same time, or within the like a couple years of Last Holiday, which is very confusing, and that is with Queen Latifah, <laughs> and she hits her head, and then has a brain scan, and they think that she's dying, and so she goes on her Last Holiday, and then it turns out she doesn't have a brain issue. <laughs> But but I bet she, she had the best all her time money. <laughs> and ended up with a new point of view on the world. And a new man. Nice. Upon learning of a terminal illness, a shy woman <laughs> decides to sell off all her possessions and live it up at a posh European hotel. It was like you. She probably took baths every day and watched Harry Potter. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a posh place. This was like an old cottage. Yeah. Uh, but it was, yeah, it was amazing. We should start a podcast where we just read summaries <laughs> of movies that I haven't seen. You could probably read a summary of almost any rom-com and we probably will be able to guess. Yeah, I, you know, I like romantic comedies. I just do. I didn't think I was the type of girl, but, you know, I need to admit it to myself that I am. The life of a simple bookshop owner changes when he meets the most famous film star in the world. Notting Hill. <laughs> <laughs> it was nothing yeah. else. That was Damn, great. Gavin. <laughs> do, do like, if you do like 2000s <laughs> onward, those are my, I think, areas. Follow the lives of eight very different couples in dealing with their love lives in a various loosely interrelated tales all set during a frantic month before Christmas in London, England. Love actually. So good. So good. Such a <laughs> How good many movie. other movies That's are a good movie. Eight eight I'll admit that it's a good movie. Valentine's Day. There's a movie. I think it's called Valentine's Day, where it's almost the same as Love Actually, where there's like eight different stories intertwined with each other. Yes. I've <clears> seen pre. I never actually saw it, but I saw previews for it a long time ago. Also, another one like that. Sh- uh, he's just not that into you. A bunch of different oh, yeah. stories coming. Intertwining with Have you guys really? seen How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days? Sure have. That one's <laughs> real funny. Who's in that one? Kate Hudson and Sean Matthew, Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. I was gonna can say you read Sean Connery. Can you read the synopsis of The Matrix? <laughs> yes, the, they, they uh, greenlit uh, Matrix Four. We haven't talked about that, have we? I think we did. Who's making it? Uh, one of the Wachowskis. I don't God. remember. <coughs> Just one of the Wachowskis? Uh, I, uh, I'll look it up in a second. A computer hacker learns from a mysterious rebels. Let me start over. A computer hacker learns from mysterious rebels about the true nature of his reality and his role in the war against its controllers. I like that you can immediately tell that it's not a rom-com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Matrix 4, slated for 2022. I only see Lana Wachowski uh, listed as director. I don't see... What kind of media, Wachowski. Jessica, do you think you have like the most knowledge about? Like for me, I would say <clears throat> Disney movies. Oh. Or like God. The Simpsons. But is there like this is a loaded question? I'll take Bond. Bond? You've seen all the Bond movies? Multiple times. If I like played you like a five second, I won't a five second sound clip from one of them. Do you think you could identify which one it's from? Christ, no. There's a lot of Bond. Okay. There's like days of it. It's a lot. 
Okay. You kind of just end up. A resourceful British government agent <laughs> seeks answers in a case involving the disappearance of a colleague and the disruption of the American space program. Ooh. Space program. It can only be Moonraker, can't it? Doctor No. Doctor No. Mm. Oh, okay. Fair play. Who's the missing colleague? I don't know. <laughs> I, I just looked up Doctor No. What about you, Gus? The thing, I, like the piece of media I know Strangway? the most about. Yeah. Or like franchise or. It might. I'd have to really think about it. It might be Game of Thrones. Okay. Just yeah, because I've read the books multiple times and mm -hmm. I've watched the episode, like all of the episodes, multiple times. Yeah. Uh, if not that, maybe Breaking Bad. Okay. Nice. That's a good one. Oh, you excited about? Also Lost. Oh, I would think Simpsons so would too. be up there. Oh, for Simpsons. You too. First ten, only first ten seasons, really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm a little concerned about the upcoming Breaking Bad movie. Really? Yeah, just because like the series and everything was so good, and we got an end to it, and. Now, based on the, they released that little trailer uh, the other week. Yep. I'm worried about what that's what the story's going to be because it seems like it takes place after the events of the series. Also, do you think it's been too long or no? No, I don't think so. Okay. I'm just worried about like how this is going to fit in with everything else. Yeah. Because it seems like before you know I I'd even seen that trailer for the the movie. When I think about Breaking Bad, it seems like a very complete story. Yes. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Uh, it seems like everything <coughs> in that story has been told you know you from the inception where walt starts decides he wants to do this to spoiler his death at the end yeah. it, it's really his story and you learn everything about it so do they have a synopsis let me look it up <gasps> yeah i'd like a gus fring prequel i think that'd be cool you, you should watch uh, better call saul oh yeah i've only mm. seen season he's one. only in a couple I episodes though, isn't he? he becomes a much more major character as the the the, the show plays out i think the first season of that show is kind of weak but then it really uh, picks up and does well. Okay. What's yeah, that, I that movie? It. Um, what's it called? Uh, uh, El Camino. El Camino. <clears throat> I only remember that because of the burger place nice. in Austin. Casino El Camino. <clears throat> After escaping Jack and his gang, Jesse Pinkman goes on the run from the police and tries to escape his own inner turmoil. Damn. Okay. Well, any predictions? I don't know. So far, the only cast listed on IMDb is uh, Aaron, you know, Paul. Aaron Paul yeah. and Charles Baker, who plays Skinny mm. Pete. I worry that maybe he's going to die and like suffer a fate similar to Walt. I don't know. That'd be that'd be a super bummer. Yeah. Yeah. It would be. But I don't know. I th maybe he's just like so messed up from everything that happened over yeah. the course of like that <clears throat> series. You should you should watch uh, Better Call Saul. Yeah. I think it's a it's a good addition to the Breaking Bad universe without being about, you know, Walt and Jesse. Do any of you watch Succession? No. no, I just started Outlander is, is that, though, which is really good. The succession good? I see commercials for it all the time. So I watched the first episode and I there's a couple things I didn't really like about it. I wasn't really that into it. The I didn't really like the camera work. All the characters are pieces of shit. But that's just kind of like the story. Work. It's just like it's very much like someone's talking and then like the zooms will happen on like really weird, like unnecessary points in time. Or like the camera will be like focused on someone's hand as they're talking and they're like clenching their fist, but it's like the zooms? Is it like a documentary? Yes. Oh, okay. I've never seen it. Which is, I mean, <clears throat> I've heard people really like it, and Trevor actually continued watching it without me because I, I said I wasn't really that interested, and he's like already caught up, like episode six of season two. I yeah, think a lot of released. Achievement Hunter are watching it. Yeah, and he enjoys it. Um, I just couldn't get into it, so I was curious to see if you guys had. I, I hear it. that I should watch it, but yeah. I haven't seen it yet. It just, I don't know. It wasn't like, it wasn't my cup of tea. Yeah. But I'm sure if I kept with it, I would have liked it. Yeah. I, I just finished, um, last week, I just finished the season two of Mindhunter. Oh, yeah. I don't know if anybody watched that or watches <laughs> it. I haven't seen season. season, oh yeah, I've seen the first season, I haven't seen the second yet. So I watched the first season, and at the end of season one, I was very indifferent towards that show. Mm -hmm. I thought it was shot well, but... I, same I felt, here, which is why I didn't jump on se season two. Same here. I felt like there was nothing hooking me. When yeah. season two came out, I wasn't like mm -hmm. yeah, rushing I felt to watch like it. The rest of the show was nothing like the very first scene. Right. <clears throat> I was expecting more of that. But I felt like season two is really good. That, see, they, that's what I've been hearing. Yeah, I they, like, do it. They, they thread through more <clears throat> of a story to kind of connect everything. Uh, and it's, it's, it's really good. It's really, yeah. really um, compelling. I, 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 I binged. I, I, I normally don't do that. I normally don't yeah. binge a ton of stuff. But I think I watched all of that like in two days. It was, it was excellent. I've been telling everybody about Euphoria. It's so good. If you haven't seen it, so you and Wes, you should watch it. Yeah, well, I know Wes loves it too. Wes, of Same course, with his girlfriend. Just based on the way it looks. Yeah, it's it's it. shot so well, and the lighting and everything is is just. I heard it makes you kind of depressed. It is. It, it does leave you in a weird headspace. It took me like the first two episodes, and I had to like take. A, it's not a show that you want to binge <clears throat> because 
you will stay in that headspace. Yeah. And, well, actually, I kind of got used to it. I'm like, okay, I'm here now for a little bit. And then and then it's then it's over and then I went out into the sunshine and played. So, <laughs> so um, it actually affected your mood. It did. If you watch the first episode, you'll see what I mean. A look um, at life for a group of high school students as they grapple <laughs> with issues of drugs, sex, and violence. Damn. Yeah, it sounds really like CW-ish, uh, but it's definitely not. Um, it's like a little more graphic. Yeah. yeah There's definitely like, like a every lot of... conversation we've had ends with, "Hey, have you watched Euphoria?" I, I keep telling you to watch it. You need to watch I'll it. I'll watch it. Um, Eight episodes. Yeah, that's with Zendaya, good. right? Mm -hmm. She's so beautiful. Yeah, I hate her. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> just uh. kidding. I love her. She's just too beautiful. This episode of Receive Podcast is brought to you by Stamps.com. One of the toughest parts of making and selling products online is the shipping. No one really wants to go to the post office. You're busy. Who's got time for all that traffic, parking, lugging your mail and packages? It's a real hassle. And that's why you need Stamps.com. Stamps.com brings all of the amazing services of the U.S. Postal Service right to your computer. Stamps.com is the faster, more convenient way to get postage. You can use your computer to print out official postage for any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere you want to send, and the mail carrier picks it up. No more lugging to the post office. It's the best. There's no equipment to lease, no long-term commitments. It's a must-have for any small business. I use Stamps.com because I love how easy it is. I don't have to take time out of my day to plan for a trip to the post office. I can just get official postage right from my own computer. And with Stamps.com, you get five cents off every first-class stamp and up to 40% off of priority mail. Right now, our listeners get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long-term commitment. You can see for yourself why over 700,000 small businesses use Stamps.com. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in Rooster. That's Stamps.com, enter code Rooster. Thank you, Stamps.com, for sponsoring this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast. Um, you, Gavin, yeah, <laughs> you tweeted something the other day that... Um, that was along the lines of something I wanted to talk about on the podcast. You, what, what did you, you, you tweet on Friday with something like, who's ready to order a professional phone? Yeah. Who, is, who else is ordered? ordered yeah, who else? No, I didn't. I haven't gone. Is it me or is it stupid to call a phone pro? That was the joke I was making. Right, was right. Like, like, they're calling this a professional telephone. It's like, I, I don't know if I'm, I, if I'm a professional phone caller. Or like what does that mean? What does which, professional mean about it? It's just like in the naming scheme of like MacBook Pro, you know, iPad Pro. Oh, okay. I, iPhone Pro. Okay. And, Thinking about it, like I do use my phone for work all the time. Yeah. Constantly. But to call a phone professional, I'm just thinking of like a like an executive in an 80s office with like a one of those big decks where you get all your messages and shit. Well, well that's the, a professional phone to there's me. It's been the iPad Pro, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like similar. I guess it's because it's a phone, it's different. Yeah, I was yeah. That what was... what is different about it other than the name though? Is there really anything? I think well the the camera capabilities camera, I know are a lot camera. better. It has a like a special display. Yeah. Did you hear also how um, like the design of the iPhone Pro with the three dots on the back apparently is um, triggering some people's I'm gonna forget the name. Tripo oh, tripophobia. Really. Tri tripophobia. Oh, like the tiny holes. One? Yeah. It's what like does that mean? it's <clears throat> like a um, a fear of things that are filled with holes or. Oh God. That have like very like wide openings. I'm gonna get this wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't look it up before um, I, I, I can see that I know what you're talking about, but it does look really weird and I like I I totally get why people would be yeah. I didn't make that connection that? But I, can see I that. want to see that the back of let me pull it up weird But the, I don't, I, the, you want to see the back of the iPhone? Jessica? I do Is that what you're asking for? Yes I might upgrade because I don't know if you can tell in some of the recent between the games and probably the microwave heist But I have a massive crack down the front of my camera. You get all these like crazy lens flares running around. This is what it looks yeah. like so it's like the camera's like now three, like for some reason things. it reminds me of um, fuck I can't remember the movie, Tom Cruise War of the Worlds for some reason. The fuck yeah, I don't like it. It just looks scary. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's, it's just it's I don't. It's not like I have a phobia. It just looks tripo terrifying. or uh, tripo see? or tripophobia is, is an aversion to the sight of irregular patterns or clusters of small holes or bumps. It's not officially recognized as a mental disorder, but may fall under the broad category of. Specific phobia if fear is involved and fear is excessive. Isn't and that funny that when it was two, it didn't do that. When it was just well, I well, guess it was in like a long. Yeah, like well, this is like guys. more irregular. Yeah. Are you gonna get a professional telephone? I am gonna get a professional telephone. I've, I've been I've been making phone calls for four decades now. I'm ready to upgrade to the pros. <laughs> It's the same thing like with my the, we have a uh, toilet paper in our office over there that says it's like professional series on the wrapper, and I'm like, 
What makes toilet paper a professional? Like, when are you like, well, yes, I'm qualified get... to use the professional series Tiger toilet Woods paper. Yeah, if so you get paid you to wipe your ass, then you're in the pros. I guess so. And we all spend a little bit of time wiping our ass at work, so. <laughs> we do. We're, well, all, some, we're all professional ass wipes. How many wipes yeah. do you need? I had this it, discussion with this, someone. It, this was on, me. Yes, because I brought open, this wasn't up it? to your attention the it, other day. It's true. It but, uh, Gus, answer the question. It okay, really good. varies. It depends on uh, the consistency. Okay. See, that's. I think I. That's I think I said. asked her the other day. Is like, like, when do you wipe? Like, say for instance, you might have had like a messy one. Mm -hmm. Do you wipe until it's clean? Oh, but what if it keeps? Going? Do you just you like ah, I'll get it later, you, you or do you going. just keep, you keep, keep going? going? Get it like, later. Who gets it later? Well, well, I don't know. This is why I'm there's, asking. There's a, there's why would you come up with that? Some people have different answers. There's a there's a lot Although, of harem navigating as well too. I, I do Good know. To know so Gus. it's uh it's important to really Good get it. Know. Know. I know a story what? of someone. What? Gavin, I'm gonna tell this. You might want an earphone ear earmuffs. He doesn't have a trash can. Um. So there's someone there's someone who uh. I know, uh, who oh, yep. used to have a boyfriend I don't know. who wouldn't wipe and At would all? specifically like get those dingleberries <laughs> and then like once or twice a week he would like clear them out. In the shower though. In the shower. But, but like, yeah. but like just wouldn't wipe. What? Don't, would he karate chop them? What, what are they on about? What are you I talking about? I don't Leave know. Leave little I, grogans there for days on end? Yeah, what does this that mean? Filthy. Fucking filthy. That's gross. Why, why, why would this person not wipe? Probably time. Be, There's a lot time of time involved. Sit down. You'd Gus? be sitting on. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't get it. I think it would, I think like four days would pass and then they would get in the shower and just kind of like, and like clear them out. Get them, get it going, you know? Yeah, like uh, flick them off. Yeah. No. I'm, well, I don't know. Give it I'm a try. I'm uncomfortable now. Give it a try. No. You, might, you, know, you don't know what I, it's like. Right. And no, it's not guess. fucking Trevor. You think I'd be dating Trevor if he did that? You fucking nasty. <laughs> it wasn't, so it wasn't somebody you dated. No, it was no. no it, this was a friend's ex boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Now ex boyfriend. Um, yeah. Okay. That is sick. none of you know this person. That is sick. That's gross. All right, I got so, someone in chat recommended a movie that I read the uh, synopsis for. Okay. Okay. Are we, gonna, are we trying to guess it? Yeah. See if you can guess guess the movie. A hopeless man stranded on a desert island befriends a dead body, and together they go on a surreal journey to get home. Oh, it's that Daniel uh, Radcliffe one. Um, uh, uh, fucking knife. Um, Swiss Army Man. There you go. Oh, <laughs> did, nice. did y'all see that movie? No, I no. didn't see it. I, I saw it. I went. I saw that movie in the theater. That's the movie. At the end, I was just like, I'm glad I saw it. I'm never watching that again. <laughs> The movie's fucking crazy. Like, I heard it's very weird. Yeah, like, it's you think it's gonna weird. be weird, but it's even weird. At the end the of the movie, there's like a shot of one character who just looks straight in the camera and goes, What the fuck? And I was like, Yeah, that's about right. That, <laughs> that, this is about right for this movie. Wait, spiked lens, like looking at. Oh, she's, yeah, she's oh, out. She's okay. Like, like, like slightly out. She's looking wow. at something, but it's like. Okay. <clears throat> right. There. Interesting. Full face. I finally saw a movie I've been meaning to see for months at this point this weekend, which is Book Smart. So good. You guys seen Book Smart? Mm -mm. Yeah. Highly Wait. recommend it. So people describe it as like super bad, but with girls, mm -hmm. and it's kind of like that. One of the girls even kind of looks like Jonah Hill a little bit, yeah. <laughs> um, just in like her facial features and her expressions. Yeah. But it is phenomenal. Yeah, it is so funny, and especially like if you're a young girl, highly recommend checking it out. Absolutely. And it was directed Very by relatable. Olivia, Olivia Wilde. Olivia Wilde, yeah. <laughs> On the I think eve of their her... high school graduation, <laughs> two academic superstars and best friends realize they should have worked <clears throat> less and played more. The Determined not to fall short on their peers, of their peers, the girls try to cram four years of fun into one night. And they sure do. Yeah. I watched Superbad, like, less than two weeks ago. It's yeah. such a good movie. Just randomly? Yeah. It's on Netflix you, now. I remember talking to you about it when it came out, and you didn't like it. I wasn't You were like, I'm sick impressed. of listening to that kid constantly swearing. Okay, I will say, I just watched it recently, too, in Jonah Hill. He does... Go on, like just like fuck every other word, and I think it was, it was just like, like, all right, I'm getting annoyed by that. I think I was just in the wrong mood for it when I saw it the first time. Yeah. I, I think also it was did an not important in, film. I also did not enjoy Pineapple Express as much as I thought I Same would. Same here. That's the one movie that everyone loves, and I just like I didn't love it. it as much as everybody else did. It's but okay. I do yeah. love those movies that those Me guys too. make. It's just that one where I didn't connect with for some reason. I would love to see uh, Super Bad again mm. now it's that I... Great. It's great. I it's, think I would appreciate that humor a lot more because I think I saw it when it first came out, which was... It was the first of its kind, right? Like Yeah, we, it was just a good... It was 
to me, it was like, man, that's the first movie I've loved that wasn't really about anything at all. It didn't really go anywhere. It was about nothing of importance. It's just very funny. Yeah. And uh, it also shows you how recently the world has become more offended by stuff. Uh, yeah. Like that movie. Yep. In, if the, it came out now, it would be different. Absolutely. It does not hold up, but it's still a very funny movie. Yeah. yeah. Emma Stone's breakout role, too. Was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I always think of that, her breakouts being like Easy A. But she, no, I think Super Bad was before Easy A. Was it? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. She, I could have sworn there was something even before those two. No, well, you're right. Easy A was 2010. Yeah. House Bunny? That was oh. before those? But she was, she wasn't like a, a lead role. She was one of the leads. It was definitely, um, what's her face? Blonde. Anna, Anna, Anna Ferris. Ferris. Um, she's definitely in the lead of that movie, but yeah. I think like. If you're gonna pick a secondary, I would say she was it. No, the House Bunny was after Super Bad. Oh shit! Oh shit! She, she has very bad. few credits before Super Bad. Yeah. She was, I guess, in an episode of Malcolm in the Middle. Mm. The mm. Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Those Can't Sprouse tell us brothers. Uh, <laughs> Those sweet little Sprousers. U I T E. I never saw that. I was an adult when that show came out. <laughs> I didn't see it either. I just I watch Riverdale. So. Do you watch Riverdale? I do. How is it? I like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people here really like it. Doesn't Jeff? Yeah, yeah I think Watch Jeff it. really likes it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Risinger also maybe. Yeah, he yes. does too. He has, doesn't he do like a podcast? About oh yeah, yeah, Riverdale? yeah. He does. Yeah. How do we feel about Risinger and his opinions? Oh God! <laughs> wow. That, that sounded way more generic than I meant it. I meant like when because he really loves talking about films and TV. Yeah. Does he have good taste? <laughs> that was like the worst <laughs> way of phrasing it. Does he have good like if John Risinger likes a film, is it a good film uh, or is it like? The way you feel about Jack, whereas if Jack likes it, you don't. You want nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, I think John and I agree a lot of times, but we, I very strongly disagree with him sometimes. Yeah. So it's like there is some overlap, but then there's sometimes where no. Like the other day, we had uh, Drew on the podcast, and Drew and I are opposites. Mm. Yeah, like yeah, you asked really, us yeah. about the same thing. It's like we'll be polar opposites. I still want to test opinion, that more. You, yeah, we we should just like sit down. You, we should just come up with a list of stuff, then independently. Okay. Without the other seeing, like just send an email or a message and ask what we think about it. I might things. do that. Or maybe I'll film an RT Life with you two mm -hmm. and just like get your reactions to both and then super cut it together. That might be fun. It's so interesting because like, you know, I, for, for instance, I call this a guilty pleasure, but really is it? It's just, I just like the show. I love Vampire <coughs> Diaries and that's okay. So I there's a lot of people. <laughs> you're, you're like trying to convince <laughs> yourself of that. It's okay that you like Vampire Diaries. You look like TikTok then, because there's so many references of Vampire Diaries on TikTok. Oh, I need to look at that then. Yes, I love it so <laughs> I much. I will warn oh you God. though. I need to look at that on TikTok. There's 171 episodes of the Vampire Diaries. Oh, it's so great. I just can't right? get enough of it. Just can't That's get enough. too many. It's been on for eight well, seasons. is it too many? It's not too many. <laughs> Um, yeah, and so I just, you know, I, I'll tell you that I love Vampire Diaries, and then I'll tell you I love Game of Thrones, and like Breaking Bad, and like all the good yeah. stuff too, that everybody... Listen, the, the life's lives, all about balance. The Lives loves dangers and disasters in the town Mystic Falls, Virginia. Mystic. Creatures of unspeakable horror lurk beneath this town as a teenage girl is suddenly torn between two vampire brothers. Uh, they left out that they are attractive, hot vampire brothers. <laughs> That's a very important part. Are they uh, Stefan Salvatore and Damon Salvatore? Sure are. <laughs> Did you watch Gossip Girl growing up? I watched the beginning, uh, not the rest, because I got tired of it. <sighs> but you watch it Gossip is Girl. good. I the love The first Gossip couple Girl. seasons. I watched it. I, I watched that in go. Everwood Gossip growing Girl. up. Those are my CW shows. Yeah. Nice. Have you played Control? I have. Don't get away from our CW. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you? You guys have guilty pleasures, I'm sure. Oh, well, I, I have some really trashy yeah. reality shows. Yeah, that I watch. what are they? Come on. I watch uh, 90 Day Fiance. I watch <laughs> e every iteration of 90 Day Fiance. Gus. Which is like including like beyond, before the 90 days, you 90 Day Fiance the other way. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. uh, I watch my 600 pound life. Uh, I worked with a company that produced Oh, yeah, they had other heroes. You and Hannah, Hannah, right? Yes. Um, it's weird. And Dr. <laughs> Pimple Popper. Did you meet one? Oh, God. No, I can't do but that. but I have lots of stories that I probably can't tell right now. <laughs> but I'll tell you later. Tell me later. No, tell, tell me later. later. I can't watch Dr. Pimple Popper. No, nah, that stuff's gross. There's, the, 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 so I can watch Dr. Pimple Popper, but they have like a new show that they started recently called The Toe Bro, which is like <laughs> a podiatrist helping people with foot problems. Hell that one no. I, I can't watch. It's like him sticking like... Shit under people's toenails and like cutting, like 
That's like, torture. I, 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 right. I watched Dr. Phil Popper. They're like, up next, you know, like the Tobro. And I was like, oh, I can try this. Like, I watched Dr. Phil Popper. This Boom is nothing. In your face. And then, like, in the first 30 seconds, I was like grabbing the remote. Like, no, <laughs> no, no. I can't. I was yeah. wrong. You just turn up the volume instead. Oh, no. my God. I was like that when. It's so uh, graphic. It's so graphic. That doesn't sound fun. Yeah, that's, that, that sounds like the worst. Okay, so what, those what, are some of yours. What are yeah, yours? What are your you gotta have guilty pleasure TV. Just shite that I watch. Yeah, I watch Friends a lot. Me too. Okay. I don't know true. if I would call um, that like guilty pleasure. Yeah, TV. that's just like a. Very well, I don't watch show. any reality TV. I don't watch any TV if it's not like on demand. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, yeah. Well, they have, have a lot cable. of like, especially on Hulu. There's a lot of reality shows on there oh, yeah. and whatnot. I don't. Yeah, I just feel like I don't have time to watch the stuff I'm excited to watch. Do you ever watch a great? British baking show? No. Ooh. Bake Off? No. I think on the I think you'd US like it because it's British. Oh, I like cool British stuff too. I? Okay. I don't so, know how this works. Yeah. That's a, that's a great generalization <laughs> about a group of people. How do you feel about all the American shows? I don't most of it I just don't really care for. Hmm. You know what reality show that you guys should watch and what show you would fucking love, Gus? Maybe. It's called there's different versions because there's different countries who do it. There's like an Australian one, a Canadian one. I think there's a U.S. one now, but it's called uh, like border security. Oh, I've seen some of that. Yeah, yeah. You would love that shit. I do. Yeah. What is it about? It's basically just documenting different airports. Depending on th what country they're doing, they do like three or four different airports. There's one um, that they do like people flying in. There's one like a border crossing if you're driving, and like oh, a God. third one. Where they just document people coming in and the process of like people trying to bring in illegal things or this person trying to smuggle in whatever oh, they are no. doing or like someone trying to get into the country to work illegally. And it's, I don't know, it's just so interesting yeah. to me. Yeah, it's, uh, it's weird having grown up. I think I've talked about this. I think I talked about this in the documentary we did. Mm -hmm. It's weird having grown up on the border because like I took so much of that for <laughs> granted. I thought like that was a common experience and then now only as an adult can I look back and be like that was really weird to live right next to another country and like to be yeah. able to walk into one and walk back and like have it be no big deal. Wow. Like you can visit a ton of countries and never interact with a border of one as well. Like what do you mean? Well like like you actually lived physically near one. Oh right. Like, you can right. just fly into the middle of a country. Obviously you've got I see, I see the airport's yeah. border. But yeah oh, I can see why that was yeah. weird. Yeah, it's uh what, what where is that that you were watching that? The border security? Yeah. On Netflix. That's on Netflix. Mm -hmm. What's it called? It's border security something frontline or like it's something like that. I'm sure if you just Google or not Google, search in Netflix for border security. I'm look I'll look it up. Border I think the one that's on there is the American one. The border security, America's front line. America's front line. There's also Canada's front line. Which is really good. Do you like the Canadian one? The Canadian one, the one is probably my favorite one. Because it's like, they're trying to be friendly, but they're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, what's this? I, I see a potentially scandalous headline. <clears throat> uh -oh. Border security TV show cancelled after Watchdog finds privacy violation. Oh. Well, Maybe it's not I mean, yeah, it's anymore. like a... I wouldn't want my crossing into a different country. Canada's filmed. border agency is pulling the plug on the controversial reality TV program Border Security after the federal privacy commissioner found the agency violated the rights of a construction worker filmed during a raid in Vancouver. So I guess the Canadian one is no longer made. Hmm. Well, the American one is on Netflix. <laughs> Check out an episode. There are only like 22 minute episodes. So I would highly recommend it. I, think, I feel like I saw a similar <clears throat> show set in Australia. They do an Australian one too. Okay, maybe that, that's that's the one that I saw then. Yeah. Which is interesting because it's a lot of American tourists trying to come and work there or or do whatever. Oh, there. really? Yeah. I've Australia done. has pretty strict laws. They do because it's it's seen as such a chill place. It's like you got quarantine all your shit. You can't just come and work. Well, I remember how much trouble you've received trying to get into Canada. Canada's before. got some of the meanest border people I've ever seen. <laughs> it does, especially Toronto. God, they're just rude. They just talk to you like you're a piece of little shit, well, like you stuck are. in the they're, bottom of the. And this. they're gonna rip you off in <laughs> four days a in the shower. <laughs> uh, the first, the very first time I ever went to Australia, it was the first time I'd been outside of the U.S. <clears> besides like Mexico. And uh, Jeff and I were both going down there for an event, and we got to the airport and we we're like, hey, you know, we're here to check in for our flight. And you know, we showed up like two hours before the flight or whatever. And the person, you know, who, who was checking us in at the airport here in Austin was like, okay, great. Do you have your visas? 
I was like, no, what's that? <laughs> They're like, you need a visa to visit Australia. I was like, oh, how do I get that? They're like, normally you do that well before you get to the airport. Oh. She's like, you're in luck. I'm going to help you do it right now. So like she she helped us and go, like walked us through the process I of getting it. Michael and Lindsay might have had to do that before RTX Australia one time. Jeez. Where it's like they they filed something, but they did it wrong. So they had to do it before boarding the flight. That like they had already gone so through stressful. security and everything. And like done the layover in LAX or wherever we were. And it was like before getting on the plane, they had to like do it right there on their phone. Yeah, most countries you can't just stroll into. This one you can't. Canada, mm -mm. you... They're, they're pretty strict about that. I mean, you can if you have uh, either like a leaving date or place like if you say where you're staying in the country. We still have to get an Esther. Yeah, it depends where you? you're. It depends where you're coming from. I guess I'm from Canada, so yeah. I didn't yeah, have to do anything. Yeah, I count. think I think you people get spoiled traveling on an American <clears throat> passport because you can really go to a lot of places visa free, but you do need a visa sometimes. A great yeah. thing to have as a Brit. Is a European passport. Like you can EU? go and work and live anywhere in the EU. It's it's a good system. It works. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna change your passport soon. Oh man, I like this one. What are you gonna do with your? Do you, you get to keep it? Nah. Well, they just snip the corner off and yeah, it's invalid. True. You just hold it on the corner when you present it to someone. <laughs> Luckily, the the queen doesn't get need to get a new one, right? She doesn't have one, right? <laughs> That's how we figured out the queen doesn't need one because all passports are in her name. Technically, they're all Her Majesty's whatever. So her she Majesty's passport. Her Majesty's <laughs> whatever. Yes. She herself could just go wherever. Wherever. Lucky her. Yeah. That, are there places she can't go? Where can the are queen not go? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> are there places the queen can't go? Where Where's your favorite place you've gone to, Jessica? Ooh. Countries where Elizabeth, where Queen Elizabeth II can be charged with a crime. <gasps> well, I mean, when you have an empire for a short while. Not that she specifically had it. Oh, no, this is just in general. Okay. There's no... Okay. I'd love it if there was like a pub in the East End that she was just <laughs> banned from. <laughs> she went in there, she got well Larry one night. <laughs> Her picture's up on the wall. <laughs> yeah. In Band. every country except for one. Oh my god, guess the country. I, 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 I don't know what country this is. It's a map with no names, so give me a second to figure it out. <laughs> Canada. It's a map with no it must oh, be that's like gonna a, give a spoiler. It must be like an old territory of some sort. To answer your question, Barb. Yeah, yeah. Either England or Ireland. I have yet to go to Scotland. But I swear, if I had like a past life or some shit, I'm, I love England, Ireland, and Scotland. Scotland's yeah. amazing. Yeah, I feel like I'd love it. I need to go Everything there Everything over there is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I'd love to go there. Good it's just so magical and the cottages and just Harry Potter. Okay, figure it out. <laughs> Everything is just so old in Europe. That too. It's crazy. Yeah. South Sudan. Hmm. Sorry, wait, what about what? North Sudan? Nope, totally fine. In North Sudan or Sudan, she's protected by diplomatic but not sovereign immunity. So what's the crime? So interesting. No, like she in theory is what they're saying. But there's no there's nothing like there's no Currently. pending. There is no pending. No, I don't mean against like specifically her, but is there like country beef that's preventing like it would be a crime if she entered? I don't think so. Okay. Was the area 51 raid today? <gasps> no, right? That's Isn't the that 22nd. The, the, I thought it was the 20th. Oh, or the 20th. Wasn't it today. Is. Not Someone today. in chat just said what happened with the what raid. Happened? But Did you oh. book your flights? It was canceled. What? The raid was canceled? That's what I see here. According to Popular Mechanics. You mean a bunch of people didn't want to go and get shot? September 20th. Huh. I also uh, was just told that in uh, Booksmart, the girl who plays that girl who kind of looks like uh, Jonah Hill mm -hmm. is his sister. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Barb! So that would explain... That's great. A lot of things. Yeah. Wow. Oops. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just like, it's crazy! The resemblance is we striking! Know. They cast it so well! <clears throat> yeah, I do need to go to Wales. That I apparently have family in Wales that I didn't know about. Wales right is there. nice too. Yeah. What's your heritage? Lots of sheep. You're, I know you're Italian and... I'm Italian, Portuguese, and Irish. Oh. Yeah. It's a mixture of shit. There, there's a great video of a guy who walks across Wales in a straight line. Do you see that? Mm-mm. I think he just picked the shortest point from the point in England to the ocean in Wales. It was like 30 miles or something. But he just had to walk in a straight line. He didn't even want to like deviate around a fence. He would just go over and like through people's property. 
It's a really fascinating series. It was like five videos. They're all shot on a GoPro. What if GoPro. there was a wall? Climb it. Okay. If it was someone's property, you would just like sneak through what it. What if he, yeah, if there's a house, just walk through the yeah. house. Yeah, I mean, no, don't go through the house, but you would just like try and stay on his line as much as possible. Did, and it was gripping stuff. I really enjoyed it. Did you see, he's talking about a guy walking in straight lines. Did you see that um, tweet <coughs> that Jessica Negri retweeted? I think it was either earlier today or last night about the guy just like walking into things or walking over things. Oh, no. no. Um, I sent I sent it to uh, the broadcast booth, but it's like, oh, just uh, casually. Yeah, just wow, like, just that <laughs> looks too good. <laughs> wow, just like, and it's how long is this video? This video is uh, three and a half minutes long, and it's just it's just that, like him encountering yeah. fences or he encountering moves things. over stuff as if like liquid would flow yeah. over it, right? Or you think like, That's oh, incredible, yeah, this person's gonna really hurt themselves. Oh no, they're he's totally fine. <laughs> he goes completely limp in some of those too, which is. And like doesn't hurt himself or that we see. Right. Yeah, 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 you, yeah you only see the ones that work. Yeah. He's broken his foot three times yeah. in the last week. Speaking of like weird movements, can we rewind and talk about the Matrix again real fast? Sure. Uh, the first Matrix, I, I was obsessed with that one. I feel like that was the first movie where I saw things I've never seen before. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, was that that was the first of its kind, right? Where using wires and then flying in the air uh, that I, I can remember. Wires was popular like in some uh uh, like uh, Hong Kong, like action flicks really? and stuff. Yeah. Okay, but well, I mean, it, 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 as far as like stuff. American cinema, yeah, I don't think it was that big. It, 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 like the you slow see? motion with the camera. Yeah, all time the... slice was. Yeah, it was probably like the first English-speaking mainstream time slice movie. Yeah, as far as say? I know. What was the other the one that did it first? There's definitely a movie that didn't that did it before the Matrix. There was. I'm yeah. pretty sure there was. But I'm sure there the was. But that was like the first. What everyone knew it yeah. from it was from the Matrix. Yeah. It says the first application of bullet time was depicted in a scene from the 1962 movie Zots. Wow, I wasn't thinking about that. I wasn't. There was a different one that I was thinking of. I didn't know it was that early. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see if the clip here. <laughs> you like a lot of movies that I like. Um, like we talked about yeah. Interstellar a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that you like The Matrix. Why? Just don't know a lot of girls who like the Matrix. I love the Matrix. That's a, I'd get yet, yet another generalization about a group of people. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, it's, I personally don't know a ton of people. Like, I've I've only watched it with dudes. Huh. Uh. Well, I my, there's my two wife likes awesome my women wife right here. Love the Matrix. Two out of two women on the set <laughs> love the Matrix. Love the Matrix. <laughs> well, that's great. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I just thought it was so cool. Like, I was obsessed with Trinity. She's obviously a badass Fuck bitch. Yeah. We watched um, The Matrix in philosophy class. We watched it in school too. Yeah, it was amazing. In school? Yeah. For with one of my film classes, I think probably, be, yeah, it was just good for so many things, The Matrix, so. Yeah, this it's a great movie. So solid. Yeah. This bullet time is, uh, is not what we're thinking <laughs> it's of. Not what we're, it, okay. It's just like a guy moving slowly and dodging a bullet. Yeah. But <laughs> it's, cool. It's, 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 cool. <laughs> not, at all, not at all. I sorry, like sorry I, to get everyone's hopes up. No. Oh, I wish I watched The Matrix at school. Uh, yeah. So are you excited for Matrix Four? I uh, I didn't. Th then they went downhill. Was, that's what I was going to say. I, I, like I don't I don't know. I want to. I, I felt the same way at the time, but I want to rewatch them. I should rewatch. I, I feel them. like maybe I didn't understand them, or maybe I missed something <coughs> about. Is Keanu Reeves going to be in it? Good question. Because I mean, he I hasn't aged, so. so like he could probably be in it and still look fine. Wasn't there an orgy in the second one? It was like a a rave. Okay, dance but it was. Thing. Sexual. I don't think it was an audience. Was it sexual speakings? <laughs> uh, yeah, Ke Keanu Reeves like... and Carrie Ann Moss are both uh, attached. Good. Okay. The second one had good moments. Like the, Is that the, one? the, the second highway one had chase the, yeah. the burly brawl. They yeah. were good. The highway chase was nuts. It was crazy. They built, they they built, built like a mile-long road for it. That's a, see, that's, that's why movies are magical, man. Where, I just forget what happened in the third one. I really... In the third one? Is that the one where he had to put his hand into like Trinity's heart? To pull out a bullet. Yeah. Yeah, because the most of those two movies, the he's like seeing visions of her falling. Her, her landing on the car. Yeah. Which is the or one like falling with... through the out of the building with the agent. Which is the one with all the agent smiths? That's the brother. The, the, for... Well no. in the the third one ends with a bunch of smiths as well. Okay. It's like the the second two movies. Yeah. The second two movies. The sec the, the se <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But that's not very clear. <laughs> In the two second and three and third yeah. of the trilogy. I, I think I only watched the, the second and third movie once, and it was like when they first Same came here. out. But the first Matrix I've seen a dozen a times. times oh, yeah. Yeah. When, so when Matrix 2 came out, I was living in Puerto Rico, 
And uh, so it came out a week later in Puerto Rico than it did in the United States. So I knew that Bernie and Jeff were going to watch it in Austin <laughs> a week before me. So I told them, don't tell me anything about the movie, whether it's good or bad. Like, just don't talk to me about Matrix 2 Shut up. until I get a chance to watch it in the theater. And they're like, great. Okay, yeah, no problem. So then like a week passes and I watch it. And like we're all using AOL well, Instant Messenger at the time in the message. And I'm like, that wasn't good, right? Like, <laughs> that, that was weird. You should have told me. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, yeah, well, you told us not to say anything. Yeah, like, uh, I tell maybe. you what happened with the Game of Thrones finale when I was on a plane. No. I might have told it on the podcast, but I don't know if I told you. But like, just to kind of summarize it, I was on a plane uh, that landed at the same time that Game of Thrones was going to be finishing. And I this remember was like the that finale episode. Mm -hmm. And there was a guy sitting next to me on the plane, and uh, there was a stewardess from the uh, flight crew who was sitting like directly in front of him mm -hmm. at like one of those um, like jump, seat. jump seats. Mm -hmm. And apparently, like one of them had Wi Fi, and he was talking to her loudly, and they were like right next to me. He's like, yeah, just, just getting word of uh, the Game of Thrones finale. And I was literally just like, holy fuck, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. And he's like, yeah, like, all my friends were like really, really disappointed or really bummed out. And I'm just like, oh my God. Like, at one point I had to be like, I'm sorry, but can you just not talk about this for like... Did you say that? Yes. <gasps> I was like, I've been waiting years for this. Yeah, like, this is important. She needs... She, even, I'm glad you said it. And he's like, well, we're not spoiling anything. And I was like, even saying people's reactions to this right. is spoiling it for me in some way. I like, hate that we're not spoiling anything yeah, reply. And it was... It wasn't even when we were in the air. It was after we had already landed and we're taxiing that they started talking about it. And I'm like, we're going to be off this plane in 15 minutes. Like, yeah, just just wait, fucking wait. Yeah. And even though you're not they're not spoiling anything, they're giving you the, the feeling of being disappointed is in your brain now when you watch exactly. it. So you're right. already like it's it's still or just sucks. like knowing certain well, things aren't going to happen because if they did, people might feel mm -hmm. happier right. or like whatever. Yeah. It or it's like the same thing when someone's like, oh, you're going to love the twist in that movie. It's like, well, well, I didn't know there was a twist. Right? But now I do like, know oh, there's we didn't a tell twist. you. We didn't tell you. It's like, well, yeah, now I'm looking for it. Now like, yeah, like, waiting exactly. for the twist. That's what I'm going to be thinking the whole time. It's mm -hmm. like, what is this? What's that? Mm -hmm. What's going to happen? Yeah, yeah Meg, Meg said the same thing. She saw, we saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I and that. I think Wes had just said to her, oh, there's like a, there's a twist. So Meg was watching the whole movie expecting some huge twist, but the twist was kind of just like, it was just a flipped version of reality. It wasn't really a... Mm -hmm. Like in Glorious like Bastards. A, yeah. Mm. But she she got to the end and she was like, oh, well, I was, I was watching the whole thing expecting some and now extreme she probably thing feels, to happen. Yeah, it feels just kind of like, oh, Especially like let down or something. Like, oh, it's Three hour right. movie like that. You're just like waiting the whole time. Yeah. Three hours? Two hours, 45? I forget how long. close to three. Yeah. yeah. It's the same. It's three. It long. Up. It's long. Mm -hmm. A little too long. Well, speaking of a <coughs> flight, wasn't there like a drunken woman on a plane? <laughs> there was. I, saw, I, heard, I read an art, but I don't. The, I, I just saw the headline. I was like, what? There was a, but she was uh, a stewardess. There was a flight attendant on a United flight who uh, was drunk on the plane. They said that there's video of her that she slurred the, through the safety speech <laughs> at the beginning, didn't quite finish it, <laughs> then sat down in her seat and passed out. And uh, is this different to the woman who climbed up into the bin? This is different. Oh, okay. What was that woman doing? I don't remember was that. Was she also one. a flight attendant? Yes. I what? Think she... Both of them worked for the crew? This this was a different flight. Oh, uh, yeah, but yeah. still I mean, weird she... things. Both I think it was of these like, stories. It was an out, I think that was an out of context <laughs> photo. Like she was like trying to be funny or something. Oh. Yeah, I didn't I don't remember I any story with it. But, so uh, did this woman get fired? She or? was arrested when they landed. <laughs> so it's illegal. Yeah, because like I think you know, because she's in charge of safety, right? Yeah. And she was the only flight attendant on the plane. No, oh well. my god! How did people get their food and their snacks? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think you that for a long <laughs> some peanuts. Uh, let's see. Not about safety. Just when are we gonna get our snacks? Um, <laughs> oh, my mind went to food. Um, yeah. So it was original flight from. Okay, the police met her when it landed in South Bend, Indiana. Wow. They said, uh. Someone on the flight said the sole flight attendant on the flight slurred her in-flight safety speech, stopped after 10 seconds. <laughs> Jeez. I know this is not funny, but it's... I'm just imagining being no, like, no, all right, it's fuckers, okay. welcome to the Chicago flight. Chicago to <laughs> South Bend. You just got to <laughs> fucking do up your seatbelt. If you don't know how to fucking do this, then you're a piece of shit. Her yeah, blood alcohol was 0. .204. Which it, was uh, five times the legal limit for flight attendants. If we crash some of the windows, the doors. <laughs> Just okay. keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle. There might be more doors after a crash. 
Um, <laughs> did you see that video the guy posted on YouTube where he was the only passenger on a plane? Yeah. Why did no. it take off? I don't Why know how, that, on the next one? how did it fly? Isn't that like... But because they need the, the plane and the crew at the next destination, so they got to move them anyway. Because I've heard of people's flights being canceled because the flight was undersold. I assume they just needed this plane. And Again, yeah, isn't it unsafe to fly something though if it's not heavy well, enough? If you, if you watch the video, at one point he's filming out the side because ground crew is loading sandbags into the oh, plane. Yeah. He's like, what are you doing? They're like, we're putting bags on the plane. He goes, because it's too light? And they're like, yeah. So yeah, there why, was like why three attempts. Why does it need to be attendants? not light? Um... Oh, we're science class now. I'm ready. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We gotta well, have a They get lighter as they fly. Right, but they have a certain amount of weight in them already. Like they <laughs> just like they're just like way too light. It's just like woo yeah. It just keeps going up. But it's just funny like when that. they start boarding, you know, there's like, you know, flight so and so is ready to take off. Will our passenger please <laughs> board the plane? And he's like, Oh, that's me. <laughs> he like gets his bag and like walks in. That guy must have the biggest carbon footprint of anyone on the planet right now. <laughs> the whole yeah. plane took off just for him. It's a whole like commercial jet. It's a really good video, and it's only like a minute and a half long. What would you funny. do? I would sit and I would just like walk around and just plop my butt in every seat, just just because. Would you really? Would you get bored after like thirty? I probably chairs? would. My knees would just start to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I play hide and go seek with the flight attendants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we lost yes, our passengers. <laughs> and you we just hear. <laughs> I think if I remember. Guess right, Roman? <laughs> if I remember right, when the, they do the safety announcement, in the in-flight safety thing, they like for him they address him by name. It's like yeah. if you know Jack, if you need any help with your yeah. seatbelt, yeah. let us know yeah. or whatever. <laughs> in the like, case oh. of an emergency, Jack, you want to take your life jacket? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, and all these other life jackets. Why not? Yeah. There was like what three crew members <clears throat> or something? At least yeah, because I mean it was the. Uh, Pilot, co-pilot, and then at I least one was, flight I think there was like two or three uh, flight attendants. Were there? Yeah. This woman, I'm just so curious what made her think, probably nothing, uh, to get onto the plane, <laughs> to, drunk as she was, just to like was the carry around her business. Confidence. Like, maybe she had a bad day. <sighs> maybe she was just But that's done. interesting because she probably wouldn't have been found out had of having not done the announcement because a lot of planes, they don't have anyone... Well, do they, it. They just have a recording. Well, they said that she passed what? out and that the passengers could see that, like, her phone was ringing and nobody, she wasn't answering it. Hmm. Wait, no, I thought they re they really do talk on the... They don't so, sometimes they do, sometimes really? they don't. Really? Oh. It's a small plane. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes just it's just oh. a play announcement recording. Like, really? that they play. Oh, like the, the, the recording the TV like the screen yeah. has, like, the video yeah. thing on the Yeah. But they still, like, say, like, welcome to flight. Yeah, they'll still, like, such. talk and stuff. En route Because then they take like really long breaks sometimes between what they're saying. Like, is she is she done? Is I can that, I can still hear the static. Wait, oh, yeah, she's oh there she got. All right, Does that go. piss you off? Uh, no, I'm just like, you're just on edge. I'm just kind of like doing this. And can can I get back to my thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, let's wrap this up. Uh, so thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you guys uh, next time. Bye. 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 Yeah, baby. All right. <laughs> Hey everyone, thank you for watching the Rooster Teeth podcast. Uh, as always, I'm sure there are a lovely selection of videos for you to click on down below. And uh, you should hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, uh, dump the cat, I'll love you for it. Um, and uh, we'll see you guys again at some point. I don't know. Bye. Boobies. <laughs>